listed among some of the best Packers to ever play, with names like Favre, Starr, and White, sits another green and gold great in Lionel Aldridge. Packers won three championships in a row, 1965 to 1967. Certainly a key to those teams and a key to a great defense. Lionel Aldridge who made the final stop. While Aldridge was barreling through offensive lines on the field, equally as important are the barriers he and his wife broke off of it. I'm glad for that they were strong enough to go through it all. Obviously something worked out because I'm here now. Lionel and Vicki Aldridge met in college at Utah State University in the early 60s. It was found upon that they would be dating. They used to have to sneak out and they would take drives up in the mountains and get to know each other that way. Despite being shunned from their university and Vicky's family, the two continued to see each other in private. That secrecy continued after Aldridge was drafted by the Packers. He feared his relationship could cost him his career. It served to me that he was deeply in love with this girl with like the marriage. So my natural question was, oh, are you guys gonna get married or what? He said, no, 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 no. When word began to spread that the two were together, the NFL commissioner, Pete Rozelle, told Packers head coach Vince Lombardi it was a bad look for the league. Lombardi didn't budge. Vince told Roselle, look here, you run the NFL and I'll run the Green Bay Packers. He went to bat for his players. He fought politicians on behalf of his players. He stood up to the commissioner as he did in that Aldridge case. I don't know that he cared what color they were. I think if they could play, they were gonna play for him. And whether that meant they played for him and married a white woman, as long as they kept their nose clean and they played hard for him, that's what mattered to him. In Lombardi's nine years of coaching, Aldridge was the only rookie to start a season opener for him. Simultaneously, he made history off of the field and became one of the first players in the NFL to marry interracially. I know they must not have seen color, obviously, either, because there were easier routes they could have each taken. But I think when you fall in love, it's blind, it's strong, it's a powerful emotion. Maybe a, a ball player that likes the football, especially those who happen to be dating or married to F uh, white women, have to sit thank a lot of for uh, bringing through that glass ceiling. A glass ceiling many current Packers players benefit from today. For NBC 26 Sports, I'm Chancellor Johnson.